So Zelda games going forward just got some really big news and it has to do with the fact that the Game Awards 2023 recently wrapped up and of course we had the presence of Mr. Anuma, the Legend of Zelda series producer and the director from Tears of the Kingdom, Mr. Fujibayashi, here locally in the US and they were making the rounds for a few different interviews where we've gotten some really clear insight on how they view Tears of the Kingdom, it being a complete and final product and really doubling down on the notion that we should not expect any kind of DLC for this game and also the very exciting questions were asked about the future of Zelda games from here. I saw many opinions online following the release of Tears of the Kingdom that could Nintendo do some kind of trilogy in the same world of Hyrule that we know and love from Breath of the Wild and it sounds like that answer is no. Will certain abilities like Ultra Hand carry forward into future Zelda titles? Is that like a new staple thing that Link will be able to expect to use regularly such as the bow and arrow or his sword? Well, well, that's not going to be the case either from the sounds of things because they were proud of what they accomplished with Tears of the Kingdom for what it is and they want to separate it from any other future ideas and create a fresh from the ground up completely new and different gameplay experience and I will tell you guys before we read through the exact quotes if there's one team out there that I have all the faith in the world in delivering consistent quality around a franchise it is the Legend of Zelda first party dev team they really just don't let you down, at least they haven't for me since I started playing Legend of Zelda games since Ocarina of Time back in the day. But we need to first hop over to Game Informer to break down a couple interesting parts of this interview where they kind of outline their overall feeling and sentiment of what Tears of the Kingdom is and how it will not be something that's necessarily considered for a sequel, as well as we're going to briefly touch on some comments around Ocarina of Time that could indeed play into the idea that one day we will see that game brought back with a modern day remake or remaster. And you can see the first question on screen from Game Informer, which reads, Tears of the Kingdom plays off Breath of the Wild, but the addition of Ultra Hand adds so much to the core experience. It now feels so integral to the experience and so important to those more casual fans that you mentioned bringing in. With that in mind, do you think we will see Ultra Hand return in future titles? Mr. Anuma responded with the following, when you're talking about Ultra Hand, that is really the core idea for Tears of the Kingdom, and I think it represents our approach of kind of putting everything we could into this game. You know, first putting all of our ideas in and then being very selective about what we wanted to remain, removing all the parts that didn't make sense or didn't fit perfectly. This game is then the result of all of that selection process. This time you'll see there is no DLC because of that process. We created what we wanted to create and felt that it was complete in that fashion. So from that aspect as well, I think we definitely won't be including Ultra Hand in titles going forward. In that same notion where you did earlier this year confirm that there won't be any DLC for Tears of the Kingdom because you've already accomplished everything you wanted to accomplish with this game, have you ruled out another direct sequel? Mr. Anuma laughs and responds, well, that would be a sequel to a sequel, which is getting a little bit wild when you think about it. But as I've mentioned previously with Tears of the Kingdom, we were seeking to build on top of the world that we created with Breath of the Wild and really exhaust the possibilities of what we could put into that world. I think it is, to use a bit of a term, an apotheosis or the final form of that version of The Legend of Zelda. In that regard, I don't think that we'll be making a direct sequel to a world such as that that we've created. So if you were someone who was wanting to return to the Tears of the Kingdom Hyrule once again for yet another fresh adventure and with the abilities of Ultra Hand intact, it sounds like that's not what we're going to get in any way, shape, or form, but that is actually an exciting news piece to me because while I do feel like Tears of the Kingdom was a masterpiece of a game, it's definitely my 2023 game of the year, hands down, and I enjoyed it thoroughly to completion. I also was well aware that I had traversed a lot of this Hyrule before. Yes, the grounds beneath were brand new, and yes, the skies above were, were brand new, but of course, Nintendo did a lot of things to kind of make it feel fresh in the other Hyrule overworld that we'd already gone through with a lot of changes in areas, but it was still the same core Hyrule, and that was very apparent. I think if you went back to that Hyrule a third time, it would be going to that well one too many times, and I also think that while the gameplay and the enjoyment of Tears of the Kingdom was really built around Ultra Hand and being able to create all of these crazy wacky things to be able to solve puzzles or progress or just even have fun in the game. I don't think it's something that Link has to have as a returning ability going forward to still enjoy a new Zelda game. As I mentioned earlier, if there's one team I have all the faith in the world in creating an incredible new enjoyable experience in a game, it is the team Nintendo put together for their Legend of Zelda games. What will be interesting to see with 
future titles is whether or not they kind of remain in that same open world environment and i personally believe they will you may or may not remember that we had some interviews around the release of tears of the kingdom that really cemented the idea that nintendo is going to double down on this open world slash open air gameplay formula and when asked about how they thought about older 3d linear zeldas that that was a moment in their history but something that they really wouldn't return to and they know that they've appealed to such a broad audience with the breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom sales numbers that it would really be a step backwards to go to that more traditional linear style gameplay that to be fair never saw anywhere near the success that we are seeing them back to back now achieve on the nintendo switch with breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom so it'll probably be a brand new hyrule with brand new abilities for link and potentially a very different visual style altogether but what we now know about the future of Zelda games is that don't expect a sequel, don't expect DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. That game is what it is, and the Ultra Hand ability is what it is, but they will be left more than likely to that era, and Nintendo is now working on crafting something entirely new from the ground up. Now, to quickly pivot the conversation into not necessarily a reference that Nintendo is for sure working on some kind of an Ocarina of Time HD remake, but rather, questions are coming up around Ocarina of Time, and there's really no denial that Nintendo may actually entertain the idea of bringing bringing that game back once again with all of the modern enhancements that we've seen games receive over the year. And you can read the Ocarina of Time related question here, which says, have you heard the theory that some scenes in Tears of the Kingdom are perhaps loosely retellings of some events from Ocarina of Time? Now, Mr. Anuma responds and says, oh no, I'm hearing that for the first time. Well, there's Raru, there's the imprisoning war, and there's some scenes in Tears of the Kingdom that resemble scenes in Ocarina of Time, particularly in the flashbacks. For example, you have the scene where Ganondorf is kneeling before the king of Hyrule before he betrays him. Now, Mr. Fujibayashi responds by saying, we understand that fans have theories and that's a fun thing to do for fans. We also think about what kinds of theories fans may come up with given what we create. It's not like we're trying to plan ahead for those theories, but in this series, there's this idea of reincarnation in that Zelda and Link, as they appear in different titles, they are not the same person per se, but they're sort of this fundamental soul that carries on. Because of that, certain scenes may turn out similar. Like you were saying, the antagonist kneeling before the king, those scenes might turn out because they are sort of like a glimpse or representation of the soul of the series. For people to kind of pick up on that and see that, it's something that we enjoy also, and it kind of helps create this myth of The Legend of Zelda. And the question that closed out the interview reads as follows. Thank you so much both for your time. I've heard about how sometimes questions about games can inspire them to be made. So I selfishly want to ask about a modern Ocarina of Time remake, but I have a feeling I know the answer I'll get. A.G. Anuma laughs and says no comment. So saying no comment on an Ocarina of Time remake absolutely does not in any way, shape or form signify Nintendo's intentions to return to Ocarina of Time with some kind of modern remake, but I do think that it's interesting that they didn't outright deny it in any way, shape, or form, and there's definitely a lot of references to Ocarina of Time in Tears of the Kingdom that were mentioned from the interviewer, and there were prior interviews with Mr. Eiji Anuma where he seems to suggest that fans today may not even know who Raru actually is because it's been that long since anyone's had an opportunity to play Ocarina of Time easily in a modern release, and while you can play it on NSO clearly it's still not something that probably has the same kind of pull that a modern remake or re-release would be and it is the 25th anniversary of Ocarina of Time it's clearly not coming out this year so don't hold your breath for anything Ocarina of Time related but I definitely think it's one of those games that one day in the near future or in the coming years we will see Nintendo revisit when the time is right and I will absolutely be picking that up day one but I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video all your thoughts and opinions around all this new info for the Legend of Zelda series. Are you excited to hear that we're talking about a fresh Hyrule and a fresh gameplay type of environment from here with future Zelda games? Are you somebody who actually wishes that there would have been a third game within this Hyrule and you were really wanting to see Nintendo go in that direction with things like Ultra Hand returning? And what do you make of all of the Ocarina of Time remake rumors? Do you think this tells us anything more or less about those potentially being true? Are you somebody who does indeed want to see Ocarina of Time come back sooner rather than later? Or do you think Nintendo Nintendo should continue just to make more new titles and less of the remasters and re-releases over time. But regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before we leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch the video on screen next if you haven't already. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.